Welcome to our Friday night question and answer program. Please go ahead with your call. Please read Luke 12, 39 and Proverbs 7, 19 to 20. Luke 12, 39 to 20. Twelve thirty-nine says, "In this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through." And then Proverbs seven nineteen and twenty: For the good man is not at home; he has gone a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. Someone on Facebook brought up the question about who's the good man in the house in Luke 12, 39. And if that could be Christ, wouldn't that be saying that the house got broken because the good man wasn't there because he left? And Proverbs 7 could answer Luke 12, 39. Well, no, I understand why you would say that. As the individual on Facebook pointed out, the Greek word for good man is used several times, and I think just about in every other verse except one, it clearly refers to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, too, in Proverbs 7, that would apply to Christ. But there is another verse where it does not apply to Christ, but it has to do with those who are set over the house, and same thing here. If we look in the context, after telling us that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come. Now, let me read verse 39 again. We'll see why it's very difficult to even think that this could apply to Christ because of the way it's worded. And this, know that if the good man of the house had known, it's not saying anything about him not being present, but it has to do with knowing. If the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come. I mentioned Job 24, 1 earlier. Times are not hidden from the Almighty. So Christ knows, and I don't see how Christ not knowing could apply, but I just don't see it. Then it says he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. But just as Christ is the good shepherd, and those who bring the gospel have been typified also as shepherds, under shepherds, it's the same here. Christ is the good man of the house, the Lord of the house. But he can set someone over the house, as it says a little further down in verse 41 and 42 of Luke 12. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season? And so when the Lord established the church and church authority with pastors and elders and deacons, they were set over the household and they have been made ruler over God's household, the house of God. And they did not know, as the Bible indicates in several places, like in Jeremiah 8 verse 7, my people know not the judgment of Jehovah. And they did not know, and that's why their house was broken into and robbed by the thief. Then who's the thief? Well, the thief is the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, you know, just think of it that way. Here's Christ who comes as a thief in the night. And, of course, the thief knows perfectly, exactly, precisely when he's coming. And we're supposed to think that Christ comes as the thief and knows every detail about his coming. But then he's also the good man of the house that the thief is robbing, and he doesn't know. No, he doesn't have a split personality. It cannot, from what I understand, refer to Christ. It must refer to those set over the house who are spoken of respectfully as the good man of the house. 